The time is now to get your kids out of summer mode and back into school mode, which can be kind of hard right now. Absolutely. I, it's hard for anyone to go from summer to school mode. I know I used to struggle with it. And one of those things is making sure you clear out the pantry, start getting them back into those healthy eating habits. And we're speaking with a registered dietitian to tell us how we can do that. Thanks so much for having me. Yeah, you know, this time of year, it's back to school. I feel like back to school is like the new New Year's resolutions. So as uh, you know, registered dietitian, of course, nutrition is important. But as a chef, Flavor is super important. So I'm all about take this time of year to reset, reboot, whether your kids are going back to school, at school, or virtually. It's always great to get back into a routine. Absolutely. So let's talk about how we can reduce some of the sugar, because I know that that's something that might sneak up uh, intake-wise during the summer with kids. But as we get back into that back-to-school mode, what can we do to minimize our sugar intake? You know, yeah, it's easy that added sugar can sneak into a lot of different types of packaged foods, especially. So I'm all about trying to incorporate whole fruits and incorporate some cut up vegetables. And the recipes that I have here today, these all are incorporating California figs. I have California fresh figs and dried figs. So first off, this is a three ingredient fig jam. My kids love this. And what I like to do, super easy to prepare. You just have some, uh, your uh, baguette, a little toast, put on some nut butter, and then you take your fig jam and you have you know, your protein with the nut butter, you have your dried figs. And with figs, you're getting calcium, you're getting a good source of fiber, you're getting potassium, and which is so great, figs contain no added sugar, whether they're fresh or dried. That sounds absolutely delicious. Do you have any go-to recipes that you use? Uh, this is a rotisserie chicken salad that I've prepared. So what I do here, it's so easy to cut up your rotisserie chicken, and you add your dried figs, some uh, little secret ingredient. You take those chicken juices and add those in the cooked juices, and it has that like umami bomb. Now, when it comes to fresh figs, fresh figs are in season now through November. So when you see California fresh figs, you want to buy them because they're juicy, delish. You can see how easy it is to just slice these. Um, and one recipe that I use, I like to use these in. This is a roast pork tenderloin dish. So you can see these beautiful figs. You just take all of these ingredients, pork tenderloin, which my whole family loves. We have our fresh figs, some rosemary. You just pop that whole thing in your oven and you have a delicious meal ready in just minutes. Well, you definitely got my stomach rumbling over there. I, I love pork tenderloin. That sounds delicious. So can you tell our viewers where we can go for more information? Yeah, go to CaliforniaFigs.com. You can get all of my recipes there. And also check out the California Fig Cookbook, which is brand new. Thank you so much for your time. My pleasure. Thanks for having me, Hattie. You can always find this segment and more on our website at firstcoastliving.net.